If you've been to Sanibel this season, then you know this is not an uncommon sight this time of year. It takes a lot longer to get on, off, and around that little island. And tonight, we're giving you some hopeful news about this. Four in your corner, Stephanie Tinoco, showing you what the town is doing to ease some of that traffic congestion. Pat Knutson tells me there's really nothing not to like about Sanibel, except for maybe traffic. And on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the worst, how bad is it? Oh, you're leaving me. You're leaving me. <laughs> 10. <laughs> well, it eventually oh, moves, so it must be a 9. <laughs> <laughs> on average, more than 20,000 cars travel on the Sanibel Causeway every day. It is a long time to get across the causeway at times. It took us 30 to 40 minutes when it's real busy. The city knows it and has recently put this video together featuring Mayor Kevin Ruane, hoping people's trip to visit the tropical oasis is a little easier. Keep in mind the island traffic is exceptionally heavy in the mornings and again in the afternoon. The city says the worst time to enter the island is anywhere from 8 a.m. to noon. Peak traffic times to leave are from 2.30 to 6.30. The island is, is what it is. There's one main road and this is it. But to help, the city has installed four traffic cameras linked to their website to show traffic in real time. The city has also launched a mobile app called Sanibel Bound linked to monitor real time traffic. Diane Moan says while it's a good idea, she won't be using it because she's on island time. Traffic, it doesn't bother me because I'm just here temporarily, but I love it here. Stephanie Tinoco, Fox 4 in your corner. Now, the city says there are also message boards out there before you get on the causeway to alert you when you can expect delays once you actually get onto the island. And they're going to keep